All right, here's the deal. That whole shoreline has all these little nice cliffs on it, and many of them have uh, pictographs. So we're gonna go check those out this morning. What a beautiful day. Weather's really changed. Last night the temperature dropped quite a bit, the wind stopped, and uh, it's much cooler today. Looking forward to that. The past two days have been really, really hot. We've been a little bit dehydrated despite drinking like crazy. Um, gonna make some breakfast this morning and we're gonna hit the water. Uh, there's a bunch of pictographs near here, so it should be a really interesting day. Um, and then we're gonna go off into Cachiquag Lake and maybe McAlpine Lake today. Here's a pictograph way up here. It's kind of faint, I'll zoom in. See the big round circle with handprints. So here's one, not very discernible. These are some older ones, I think smudges and then there's another one over here quite a few here another one kind of carry here just a smudge there's a cross here quite discernible That looks like the bunny man ahead of us. Looks like it. There's some uh, faded areas here. Look like old pictographs. And then over here is a very prominent one. Often referred to as the bunny man because of the long ears. So it's hard to say exactly what this is. I've done some reading that suggests that the medicine men would um, use an otter pelt and sew it back up as their medicine bag. So that could be what that is, indicating that's a medicine man and uh, stuff coming out of his head, energy coming out of his head. But it's really hard to say what it is. Completely open to interpretation. That's one of the coolest ones I know about. Oh, and up here is a zigzag. The line is supposed to indicate someone's life, and the turns are supposed to indicate major events in their life. So these things could be connected. The bunny man and the zigzag, who knows? Again, open to interpretation. This is one of my favorite sites up here. There's a lot going on. In this one. Lots of different images. Really exciting sight actually. This is my favorite 
pictograph site anywhere, I think. Moose here, cow moose for sure. This really has the shape of a caribou head and antlers. This looks like a medicine man with his arms up. There's a, a very faint canoe here on the bottom, probably with a medicine man in the middle. Again, arms up. And there's another human over here, humanoid shape. And a big, and a big sort of smudgy area. You can pick out different shapes. Looks like another canoe up here with a couple people in it. juveniles. We saw the meat about 10 minutes ago. Pushing our way out of the mud here. I don't know, Carrie. I don't think it's worth it. I've done trips like this before. We can put on our Crocs and we can walk through that. What do you want to do? Okay, go forward. We're gonna get stuck here too. That's where we gotta go. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Ah, so we're trying to figure out what to do. We just uh, started McAlpine Creek and the water is very low. We're not, uh, not getting up the creek very well. We're stuck on the ground. I put my foot over the side and it's mucky mud. We've got at least 500 meters to go. We might just turn around and uh, spend our time on Quetico. We'll sit here and think about it a bit. <laughs> Might be a change of plans here. Yeah, Carrie, we were right there. It was uh, shallow before we even got into McAlpine Creek. We'd have to go a whole kilometer. Would have been a muddy slog. Yeah. It's not the kind of trip I was going for today. No, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Done it before. We could do it. But... I think this will be more fun. Oh, what else do you want to do? Fishing? Maybe swim, fishing. Swimming. Maybe we could swim, yeah. Yeah, that's way better than going through that mud. Okay, we're, we're in agreement. We were going to go up into Kashkagog, up into McAlpine, come around into these lakes, and back on Quetico, on this arm here of Quetico Lake, and back. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to have lunch here and uh, hang out a bit and probably go back down into Quetico, explore a different section of it. Maybe uh, find a really good campsite, spend a couple nights in one spot. There's the bannock we made last night. Let's get into that. That's what I like. The bannock's cooked all the way through, and it holds together. It's not uh, crumbly. By kneading the bannock, you get a consistency that's a lot more like real bread. You develop the proteins, just like real bread, and it's the baking soda that helps it rise. How is it? 